Hi, my name is Steven DeGracia, and this week at Shot of Espresso, I'm going to teach you how to create CBOs in TikTok. Here we go. So first thing you need to do is go to your TikTok Ads Manager. And over here, uh, you want to make sure you're in the Campaigns tab. And then right below it, you're going to hit the Create button. Then it's going to take you over here to the advertising objective so what you want to do is make sure that you go to conversion and click that and then scroll down and then it's going to take you to the campaign name so here uh, you would want to name name your campaign what whatever product you're you're selling so usually that's what I do so for this uh, demonstration I'm going to put uh, demo and dash CBO because that's usually what I do to identify my campaigns if it's a CBO or I'm running a non CBO which is called an ABO. So what you want to do is come down here to where it says uh, campaign budget optimization. You want to make sure that this is on and then here this is where you're going to put your budget in. Now the minimum is 50 bucks uh, so whether whatever your uh, budget uh, allows you um, you could do 150 200 300 whatever you want to do but we'll just put uh, 50 bucks in here and then we're going to hit continue now we're in the ad group uh, which is to me I get confused a lot <laughs> because I've done a lot of Facebook ads in, in the past uh, I, I always look at this as an ad set. So, uh, but they in TikTok they call it an ad group. So, uh, what you want to do is just uh, name it again, whatever you, uh, whatever the product you're running. So, we're going to put demo CBO, and then here this is your promotion type. So, this is where you want to if you're going to run app or website, but we're going to do websites. So, we're going to select that. And then this is where you're going to select your pixel that you have created either if you're running your own Shopify store, then you're going to want to uh, select the pixel there or make sure if you, if you have a tag manager, make sure that uh, you have it in your pixels installed already in tag manager or you won't have a pixel coming up here. So what we're going to do is going to select this and select the pixel in an optimization event. This is uh, where you're going to do... Um, Either a complete pay payment, uh, view content, add to cart, or initiate checkout. But uh, you always want to do complete payment unless there's some issues going on. But that's for another video. And then down here in placements, you want to select placement, and then you want to uncheck these two, and just always just make sure you're targeting TikTok. And then we're going to skip over creative type. And targeting audiences and here you're either going to uh, target United States or Canada I target United States uh, whatever product that you are promoting if it's uh, aimed for males you want to uh, select males if it's just for a female product you want to select females if it's for both you want to keep it at all and then the age ranges I recommend uh, always you know making sure you double check your demographics of your product if it's a, towards an older crowd or a younger crowd but I like to keep it safe between 25 35 basically 25 to 55 select all those and then scroll down here this is where you're gonna uh, select your interests and your behaviors all your targeting and your hashtags and stuff I'll leave it up to you to do all that your devices, I leave that alone. Uh, targeting expansion, I leave that alone. And here, your budget's already in there because this is a CBO. Here's where you're going to uh, select your your time for it to run. Uh, it's up to you. You can select it to run at 12 a.m. and let it run all day, or uh, day part it, which uh, usually what I do is I day part. So you can select your your date and time here. And then here you can come in here and you can pick when, whenever you want to uh, uh, have your ad run. So you can start at four. So you just select it and go 
all the way here to uh, 23 and then uh, what we'll do is the ad will start at 4 a.m. but this is up to you totally up to you how you want to do this and what we're going to do is we're going to skip all this and uh, we're going to go to next so what you're going to do is um, here's where you're going to add your video and so what we're going to do is we're going to up we're going to uh, load up a video so let me uh, do that real quick here and let's do let's pick uh, this one here we're going to select the infinity so here's the video I just made this real quick in Canva which I, I highly recommend using Canva for your videos to get started and that's about it right there so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some text in here you don't want to forget about the text and so you can just say something like uh, um, surprise your wife with this with this infinity steel wallet and then come down here and what you want to do is make sure this is very important make sure that it's not set to dynamic you want to make sure you click on standard and then it's and make sure that uh, it's set to shop now right here don't forget that because sometimes we can forget but uh, you want to make sure that's uh, on shop now and then this is where you're going to put your link so I'm gonna go get my link real quick and then you just paste it in there then most important thing and don't forget usually this is unchecked but before it wasn't unchecked Make sure this is unchecked, this select this part right here. Because if you don't uncheck it, then your video will be shown on the TikTok advertising. But if people can search your video, it will be shown on TikTok. And people can download your video, copy you, and all that stuff. So basically, you want to make sure that this is unchecked. Okay? Don't forget that. Now, other than that, that's about it. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Submit. And then if you get this this warning here, just hit complete uh, campaign. Now we're going to get redirected to the campaigns. And this is how we we're going to uh, copy the ad, the ad sets, or you can call them ad groups. So what we want to do is come over here to ad group. Remember, this is a CBO. And how do you determine this is a CBO? You come to your campaigns. Because the CBO is the, the, the um, well, you'll see right here, the spend is composed, uh, the budget is controlled by the campaign. So we, we're ha we have the budget that is in the campaign. So the, the campaign is controlling the budget. So it's going to distribute the money your budget throughout your ad sets or your ad groups so we have 50 bucks here so we're gonna come over here to add group and here's the ad group that we have so what we're gonna do is we're going to hit copy right here it says copy and I recommend if you're doing 50 if you're doing 50 bucks just do two um, you know CBLs maybe three but you want to up the budget so we're gonna since we're doing fifth uh, for this dem demonstration I'm just gonna I'm gonna I usually do um, four if I have 150 uh, budget on my campaign on my CBL so and here I'm just gonna put four so if you have a budget at, at uh, 150 200 I recommend doing doing four so you want to add three here and duplicate And so now what you're going to do is you're going to 
see that uh, TikTok is going to automatically put everything in. The only thing they don't do is they don't put, they don't, uh, you have to make sure that you schedule your, uh, your ads. So you're going to have to put the schedule in. So whatever schedule you want to put in here, make sure you put that in here because it won't automatically copy that over. It won't bring it over. Um, but everything else stays the same. Everything is duplicated. As you can see, we got uh, the pixel. We got the complete payment. Uh, we got our uh, location. We got our, our gender. We got our age. We didn't put any uh, interest or anything in, in there because uh, usually going broad usually does the trick. Be able to make uh, conversions. The budget's already in there. So only thing you need to do is change the time because they don't carry over the start time and all that. So, And your day parting uh, carries over. So after you double check, and I recommend you always double check everything before you run your campaigns. Go to next. Now, your ad will be in here. This is where your video ad is. This is, uh, I'm going to plus, always double check, like I always say, you always have to double check. That's what I do all the time. So I always make sure the ad is running correctly. My computer is a little bit slow, but the ad is running because I can hear it. <laughs> there it is. And then double check your text here. Make sure everything copied right. Your link, everything here. Make sure that this is unchecked. This is very important down here. You want to make sure that's unchecked. After that, after you checked everything, just hit submit. And we're going to hit OK. And there's your uh, ad groups right here. And it'll say one, two, three, and then usually I'll just go in here and just put dash four to make sure you know have them all numbered. And there, there's your CBO. So basically, that's how you create a CBO. Um, make sure that if you're doing like doing like fifty dollars, I would only do maybe one or two. Two tops. Uh, just test it out. If you're doing higher budgets, I would do four. Um, this is just my opinion, and what I've seen, four is actually pretty good. Um, if you're doing really higher budgets, then possibly you you probably want to create more ad groups. But I've been doing four and having great results. So uh, basically, come back over here to campaigns. And here's your CBO. Click Edit. And just double check. You got your budget in here. You got your name of your, uh, your product in here. And uh, everything looks good. Come to Ad Groups again. Always double check. Everything looks good. They're in Review. And then your Ads. And this will be your ads that you're running. And you're good to go. And that's all it is. It's real simple to create a CBO. And you can create as many as you want with different products. And, um, and just test and test and test and test. And eventually you're going to hit a winner. And uh, like I said, um, CBOs um, are been doing very well on TikTok. So uh, I highly recommend you using CBOs. So this is Steven. This is uh, how to create CBLs. They're very simple. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.